One of one, I'm the one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. With the old rats, popping tags, securing bags. Ain't no black, need that cash. ASAP, ASAP. Hey, uh, ASAP, like Rocky Hood. I used to me with that diamonds hanging. Yeah, I feel like I'm playing. Hello, guys, and welcome to a new video on Cody Simpson's channel. My name is Mystic, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Placeholder API. Placeholder API has a lot of cool features, and I'm going to be and I'm going to try to show you guys all of them. Uh, so yeah, let's get s straight into the video then. Okay, so um, when you go onto the Spigot page of Placeholder API, you first have to download the plugin, of course, which I already have done over here. And then uh, you scroll all the way down until you see the API usage button. You click it, and then you just see how to hook how to hook into Placeholder API. Okay, so first you're gonna import it with Maven. Um, I've already set it up so you copy the repository and you place it into your POM uh, right in between here okay and then you also have to put a dependency which you can find over there uh, this will be in the description of the video the correct version but you can also find it over here so then we're gonna keep scrolling down and then we're gonna use a placeholder the first time so what we're gonna do is uh, for this we're gonna make a command when you do um, slash test it will give you it will broadcast the player's name in chat saying uh, player's name use the command for example so now we do if sender instance of player then we'll cast it to player and then we'll just do um, string replaced is equal to placeholder API. So this uh, calls the API. This gets an instance of the API. And then you have set placeholders. And what this takes is it takes a player and a string of text. So then you just put uh, the player in here. And then whichever which have a placeholder you want to replace basically. So now we're just gonna do player underscore name. This is one of the built-in placeholders from placeholder API itself. And then we're just gonna, um, yeah, broadcast uh, their message. So then we're gonna do chat color dot uh, gold, for example, and then replaced. I just ran the command. Okay, so then we'll add it into our plugin with YML. Uh, test, there we go. And then we'll add it in our on enable as well. New test command. Okay, so then I'll be right back with you guys when the plugin is built. Okay, so I'm back now. The plugin has been built. So now we'll do a reload on the server. And you can see over here, speaker tutorials, enabling. Okay, so then we'll join the server. And then we're online. Uh, then if we do slash plugins, you see the placeholder API and spigot source is installed. So if we do this, slash test. Hello guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, the, we ran into a slight problem. Um, but I fixed it. So what you have to do before using any placeholder basically, is you have to go to this link uh, on the spigot page and then you can just check these are all the placeholders that are automatically installed into placeholder API you just have to run a command to get them so then if you run this command you get all of these placeholders so you can use player uh, underscore level to get their level you can get their, um, their UUID you can get their, their coordinates but you have to run this command first. Oh, well, let's just run it in the console then. There we go. So as you can see, it's now it has now started downloading. It's downloaded. And then once you do slash test now. Okay, so as you can see, it has now worked. We just had to reload the plugin, uh, the placeholder API. Yeah. So now, as you can see, when you do slash test, it sends Stormbit has just run the command. And you can use a lot of placeholders. You can use all of these. 
or you can use um, these for example to get other players you can even use math expressions as you can see um, yeah cooldown bar check item you can even check if uh, there's a specific item in their inventory uh, and then there's also of course all of the uh, non default placeholders so you have an entire list of placeholders over here so for example uh, you click on auto sell if you want to use something from auto sell then you uh, use it if let's say you want to get a current shop so then you use this um, placeholder and that will replace it with the current shop if you have auto sell installed so um, I'm gonna show you uh, something else as well we're gonna use vault API to get the rank prefix there we go so as you can see you have to run this command first I'll just opt myself here there we go okay so now it's downloading uh, puppy reload there we go so now we will be able to use for example uh, vault eco balance but we have no eco installed so never mind now we can do vault underscore rank okay so um, I'll let this build because I have lock pumps installed let me just create a group real quick um, create a group and we'll just name it uh, test there we go Lock pumps use a storm bits um, test as you can see. So now it has been built. We'll copy the jar into our plugins. Then we'll do a slash reload. There we go. So now if we do slash test, you can see test has just run the command, but that's the group which we are in, so I can just change it um is in the group and then uh, it will just replace with is in the group basically so now I will show you guys how to use your own custom placeholders okay so I'm back uh, so what we have to do to create our own custom uh, placeholder we can do this for example spigot expansion there we go and this class will like represent our uh, plugin with all of its placeholders so then we can do extends placeholder expansion then we have to import uh, implement all the methods that are needed okay so get identifier we'll have to do the name of the of the plugin so we'll put um, spigot tutorial over here the author is of course me it shall be mystic and then the version will just put it to and just put it to 1.0 okay so there we go so now we have to do a uh, can register as well then we have to do return to we also have to do persist these are just necessary uh, stuff so placeholder API knows this is you should uh, change this to false if you need other external plugins uh, to depend on to get your placeholders and this is just um, you should just always have this on true basically unless you are making an external external jar for this which I wouldn't recommend. I would just put it all into the same plugin so it's nice and sorted. Okay, so then we have to also have a method on placeholder request, as you can see. Okay, so we don't want to play it to be null, so if b is null, then we'll just do return uh, nothing basically. And then the identifier is the is like the t is the text we put in so for this example so if params that equals uh, then we'll put like um, here we can do is vanished then we'll do uh, return 
We'll make a array list over here of players. Array list player vanished as new uh, array list. And I return main um, Google ecstatic main instance get instance. Instances. No, I forgot to do this before the episode, so that's kind of on me. I will just do get instance and then we'll do um, dot vanish that contains p. So then if it contains them, um, then we'll just do string the value of. Okay. And then we're just gonna do this. This is the only uh, thing we're gonna have. And if an invalid placeholder was used, for example, if uh, spigot tutorial underscore like uh, vanished, just normal vanished, then it would just return null. So you wouldn't be able to do anything. Okay, so this is basically it. Um, yeah, this is basically it. Then we just have to uh, make sure to register the class. So placeholder API knows that this is our, um, our expansion. So then we have to do up register. So then now this is it. If we do test command and we just use um, like main get instance of uh, vanished at player, and now we'll just do if uh, args dot so equals am I vanished? There we go. Then we'll do um, return placeholder API. Let's set. And now we'll just we'll just send them a message. Play dot send message placeholder API dot set placeholders player. I want to spigot tutorial underscore is vanished. There we go. So this will return uh, in a boolean basically of if they are vanished or not. Okay. And then we can do test. Okay. Okay, there we go. I ran into a slight error. I just had to make sure that we were actually checking if, the, if they only put in. Uh, one arg or none so that's fixed now so now if we do slash test it should put them into the vanish list that we made over here so then if we do slash test am i vanished now it will say true because we're in the list so then you can see that our expansion works and that's basically all there is to placeholder api so if you have any questions on the api or any more suggestions i should do on future plugin tutorials Make sure to join the Discord and leave some feedback. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.